in the heart of the word. Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass, Thursday of the fifth week of Ordinary Time. Great is your faith. God bless you, dear family. Today in the heart of the word, Jesus travels into Gentile territory north of the Sea of Galilee to the land of Tyre and Sidon, located in modern-day Lebanon. In today's Gospel, when a Gentile woman approaches Jesus, asking him to have mercy on her and to deliver her daughter from demonic possession, Jesus responds that he was sent only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The woman persists, and finally, bypassing the apostles who wanted to dismiss her, she cries out, Lord, help me! Do you notice where we have heard these words before? When Peter was walking on the water and cries out, Lord, save me! The phrase is actually the same in Aramaic. The Gentile woman is drowning in despair. With the winds and the waves of demonic attack surrounding her and her family, and she walks on the water. She walks through the crowd and passes through the apostles until she arrives at Jesus directly. Then Jesus says, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. These harsh sounding words were a typical way at the time for Jews to refer to Gentiles. Why? Just as dogs follow their master blindly, even to eating something that would be harmful for themselves, so the Gentiles were enslaved to idols. They were slaves to their idols, like dogs to their master. But the woman persists, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. In one sentence, this simple Gentile woman acknowledges the primacy of the Jews as God's chosen people in the darkness of the pagan world, which has dehumanized the nations. And she cries out in faith for Jesus to save her and her daughter from the dark waters of demonic power. Jesus has moved with compassion for her and speaks to her directly. And this action changes everything. Jesus, a Jewish rabbi, not only speaks to a Gentile woman, he exalts her publicly for her faith. Woman, great is your faith. May it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter is healed in that moment. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. Mary is telling us today to believe in the truth of the Word of God and to trust in the power behind each of the Lord's commandments. She wants us to understand that the narrow path is the one that leads us to life and brings true happiness. Narrow for our flesh, but true life for our souls. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.